you all right there ladies and gents how's it going i'm out on my little tow rag my new aprilia tuareg 660 we're heading over to uh, the route 1066 cafe down in hastings go and get myself some lunch nice little fry up healthy living and all that um but yeah i thought i'd bring you along with me and see what happens and keep that vibe from a side The tyres I've got, I was a bit dubious about them on tarmac when I first got the bike um, but it seems that they take about uh, 700 to 800 miles to bed in um, and now I feel very confident in the amount of grip I've got on these uh, Motors Tractionator Adventure tyres um, Yeah, I'm really pleased about that because they are so good in the dirt and I thought it was a compromise I was just going to have to deal with um, but yeah, they, they've settled down a lot now and the bike feels a lot more planted. I'm still not a hell for leather kind of rider on this bike. I've got a Gixxer if I want to go mad. Um, but yeah, it just means I can hustle this bike along a little bit, a little bit swifter with a little bit more confidence. And uh, that's really all I want from a tyre when I'm on the tarmac. And when I'm in the dirt, I just want some grip. <laughs> And these tractionators, they definitely give you grip, that's for sure. I'm really, really impressed with them. I, I didn't realise you could have so much grip on a bike like this. I don't know why I didn't, but yeah, yeah. I've taken the peak off my crash helmet. It's an adventure style crash helmet. I've taken the peak off it to see if uh, that helps reduce the amount of wind noise I was getting on it. And weirdly, it seems to have actually, it seems to have actually added a little bit of turbulence. Which is frustrating for today, but what it means is I will put the peak on and kind of leave it on all the while I'm on this bike. I quite like the fact that you can take the peak off though. I was wearing this crash helmet on my Gixxer uh, yesterday and it was absolutely fine on that bike. So it's just weird how the different aerodynamics of bikes work out, isn't it? Just coming up to the Use Valley Viaduct, which is quite pretty. I do like a good viaduct. You can just see it over there in the, through the trees. So yeah, the East Valley Viaduct. Um, I haven't got my head on a swivel and I haven't got my 360 camera, so I can't really uh, showcase it to you very much. But it's very pretty. Look it up on the internet. There's loads of info about it. Oh yeah, this bike's grand. It's really grand. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, I'm absolutely loving this bike. The engine's loosening up nicely now. Um, I'm well over the running period as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so uh, yeah, full throttle, full beans. Although, actually, <laughs> this bike is so quick. It's so quick. Um, yeah, yeah, full beans is not really something I've given it very much of yet. <laughs> I guess I'm a bit of a pussy. <laughs> I love just how much more planted this bike feels in the corners now so confidence inspiring it really is and uh yeah it just just took a few miles just took a few miles of uh running in the tires i guess it's because they've got quite um knobbly sidewalls which really helps in the dirt and yeah they just needed to sort of wear down just a little bit i guess or bed into the road surface i don't know i don't know i'm not a scientist i've definitely picked the day with all the cars though i'm trying to keep that throttle Urgh. Aprilia please 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 give us a, a map or something that will sort that dead throttle out oh it's the only thing I dislike about this bloody bike but yeah I try and edit out all the traffic um, a channel I subscribe to recently challenged all the motor bloggers he knows to do a uh, an opposite of a good motor vlog and I'm like, no, I'm sorry, go great. I am not doing an opposite of a good motor vlog. <laughs> or at least in my opinion, I'm not doing the opposite of one. If my viewers might tell me otherwise. They might tell me that my vlogs are rubbish. But you shouldn't be watching them if they're rubbish. Turn off, go away. <laughs> um, no, no, seriously, yeah, go crazy, he's a great guy. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing your challenge, mate, sorry. <laughs> I really like this sat-nav mount. It's the EvoTech one. Um, 
yeah it really holds the uh, sat now very solid even over speed bumps see boink don't move don't move at all um and having it up high like that is is really really nice well, it means i can see where i'm going and what's coming up and stuff this is pretty isn't it well, i've been around here well, i know i have um, but i'm coming at it from different angles they put speed pumps so we can speed I haven't got the confidence in this to try wheeling and stuff over things like that not that it's the right place we're right by a school um, but yeah um, I've just got to the point where I'm quite playful on my beta I'm not saying I've got any skills or anything but I've got quite playful on it um, and that will then lead to getting more skills and confidence to pull little wheelies and stuff where I need to uh, for log crossings and obstacles and stuff like that which, uh, because I just trail ride, I'm green laning, I've not really needed to go all hardcore mega enduro stuff, and I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> this and I've got all confuddled, and it confuddled me too. Oh well. But yeah, it means that uh, that bike I feel more natural on, and it's a much lighter bike, so although it's got sort of half the horsepower and stuff of this, um, it's a lot lighter. It's not half as light, but it's a lot lighter um, and playful. And it's going to take me a while to get to that point on this, I think. It's not just something that happens overnight. Uh, but every time I do a green lane and don't fall off, uh, uh, my confidence in this just goes up and up and up. It's sort of, sort of an exponential type thing at the moment. Admittedly, I, I started with a very low bar of confidence just because of the sheer size of this thing. Um, but as the suspension has bed in, uh, it's, it's just not a problem really. It's really not a problem, certainly not on tarmac. And off-road, I've, I've survived so far and some of it's all been pretty tricky stuff. But I do think I will benefit from the lower seat when it becomes available. I think the problem I have with wind noise on this helmet in this configuration is that the peak actually guides air away from my ears in how it mounts onto the helmet. And because it's a carbon fibre crash helmet, they don't have very good soundproofing anyway at the best of times. Um, so because I've taken the peak off, it's just taken that extra layer of, of sound deadening of the wind. Which, um, yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll have to just go back to wearing a peak, eh? Not the end of the world. Uh, no, it's saying I can go that way, but it's also saying I can go this way. And this way was, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sat nav is just taking its time to update a million things. It's all good. It's all good. We've got fun bits of twiddles. That's all I want. That's all I want out of life. See that sign says life is good. Um, not here. Carry on round and then left in a second, I think. Love these old villages. Fascinating buildings. The world is a better place with more corners in it. <laughs> I love motorcycles. I ever have rubbish timing. Oh, I've picked an absolutely awful route. <laughs> Mental the amount of cars about. Mental. I had thought this bike would be quite a compromise. I knew it was going to be competent off-road, but I didn't quite realise how good it was going to be on the tarmac as well. And especially with sticking the knobbly tyres on, like I mentioned earlier, um, its road holding is great. I mean, you, you don't want to be doing a million miles an hour on it, but then it's not that sort of a motorcycle. What's nice is that it's got the grunt to overtake, but you kind of just cruise along. Um, and it'll happily sit at 80 miles an hour. I'm at 60 at the moment, but it's slow down, 50 coming up. Um, it'll happily cruise at 80 miles an hour, no problem at all. Uh, but, but yeah, you, you when you're out having fun, you want to enjoy everything, don't you? You don't just want to grit your teeth and hold on and just go a million miles an hour. 
um, not on tarmac, on one of these bikes, you, you buy a sports bike or a, 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 a super naked or whatever like that, don't you? Um, if you get on one of these, it's because you want to enjoy what you're seeing around you, I think. At least that's, that's why I like adventure bikes. Cool, this has very much been a frustrating ride today. I'm not far away, I'm about 10 minutes I say. Um, providing I can actually do the speed limit for any period of time. <laughs> um, but yeah, there, the traffic's been horrific. And uh, yeah, I know you've not probably seen very much of it, but I can assure you it has been. <laughs> Woohoo, proper country lane, nice. Hopefully this will be a nice one, a nice lane to get to my destination on. It looks it, it does look it. Oh man, I feel like I've been a Grumpy Gills. I don't like being a Grumpy Gills. I just don't like being stuck in rubbish traffic. But yeah, this bike is proving to be absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I couldn't ask for it to be better really. Um, unless it was free. Free would have been good, so pretty. Next time you bring out an amazing motorcycle, give it to me for free. And, and then it'll be the perfect motorbike. <laughs> Other manufacturers, feel free to do the same. <laughs> oh yeah, country roads. Yes, that's brightened my mood, even if I haven't brought the sun out. I noticed Gas Gas have just launched their 700cc supermoto. And I'm like, all right, yeah, yeah, they really are just making red KTMs, aren't they now? So we've got white KTMs, red KTMs, orange KTMs. Please don't take over Beta. Beta. Stay beta. <laughs> nice! Proper climb! Nice! This is country roads, proper stuff. See, I'll be better off actually on here on my 100cc, my Honda CB100N, just because it doesn't go very fast, so you have plenty of time to uh, get your head around a corner to make sure that you're not going to be going straight into an oncoming vehicle whereas this is a bit faster but it's nice and high though so although the hedges here were a bit high um, it does mean in normal, normal hedge height stuff uh, you can see over it and see if there's anything coming the other way um, yeah such a, a beautiful place to be looking at the road ahead uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm chuffed with this bike. I'm, I'm going to sing its praises every single opportunity I get to because I'm just blown away by how blooming marvellous it really is. I might well have thought the same about the T7 uh, had it been 20mm lower, um, but it wasn't, so I got this. don't regret it for a second <laughs> awesome yeah when i saw the first pictures of it i thought oh wow awesome they've brought out like a, a 480 or 500 cc supermoto um, because i just saw the 17 inch rims and uh, uh, racing slicky tire type things on it and i thought that's going to be incredible i thought yes they're actually doing slightly different things with each of the marks but no 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 just changing the plastics on a on a 690 <laughs> Look at this, oldie place again, nice. Yeah, we're not really that far away now, not that far away, just a few more twiddles to go, I think. Okie dokie, well, we are pretty much at the destination now, 1066 Cafe, Route 1066 Cafe. I'm gonna call in here, get myself some good noms, get myself some really good noms, and also say hello to Sam from Conqueror's Apparel and their clothing shop there. Um, he's a really good guy and it's a really good shop. If you haven't checked it out, you should go and check out their website. I'll try and put a link down below to it. Um, but otherwise, uh, yeah, if you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button. If you like the video, give it a little thumbs up. And uh, if you didn't, you can always give it a little thumbs down. That's all called in the school. I don't mind at all. But please, whatever you do, drop in a comment. And uh, yeah, you ride safe. Take care. And I shall catch you all in the next one. Uh, bye bye for now. Keep them Right, let's get some norms. Hey, no, you gotta keep that bar.
Robert Sardin. <laughs>